to introduce an exercise from the ophthalmologist William Bates, Dr. William Bates, who practiced in the early 20th century in New York City and had great success with his patients. The exercise I'd like to share is called swinging and it helps relax the entire body. It stimulates peripheral vision. It helps reprogram the naturally smooth flowing movements of the eyes and it really helps integrate all aspects of sight. And it's very fun and pleasurable as well. Look down at your feet, they should be about shoulder width apart and we simply start to swing. Now as we swing, relax your shoulders and your arms and let the arms land where they will. Now the head will move with the body and you might even have the opposite heel lift. Now become aware of the visual field. Soften your gaze and then see if the visual field is sliding past smoothly in the opposite direction to the way the body's turning. In other words, when you're turning to the right, the visual field slides left. When you turn left, the visual field slides to the right. We'll continue for about a minute or so, although this exercise can be done even up to 10 minutes. If you've been working in an office, to simply stand and do swinging would be very good for relaxing your body and stimulating circulation. But again, maintain awareness of a soft focus and the visual field simply sliding by. Again, shoulders and arms are relaxed. The arms will land where they will. This exercise in yoga is known as empty coat sleeves, which I think is a marvelous name. Just a few more rounds. Move as gracefully as possible. And then slowing it down. Find an ending. And just remain for a few moments with your eyes closed. And then slowly open them. Gaze about. And see if there's a bit more crispness, a bit more vividness to your sight. Now let's work a little bit more specifically with peripheral vision and balance. We'll be using a pose in yoga known as tree pose. The full version looks like this. I'll move back a little bit so you can see, uh, standing on the right foot, left thigh here, left foot here against the right thigh and the arms raised would be the full classical tree pose. But I'll welcome you, if it's hard to balance, you can start with kickstand. The left heel resting against the right inner sh uh, shin and the left toes to ground. So choose which version of the lower body position you'd like to take. And then to bring in the peripheral vision, just stretch out the arms so you can wiggle your fingers and see them in your periphery. Now you're gazing forward with the relaxed shoulders. And we'll start to end balancing, of course. And we'll start to lift the hands. Fingers are wiggling. We've expanded our peripheral vision, being aware of the wiggling fingers as they rise. Gazing ahead. Eventually, the hands will join. Now here we pause the movement and find one point to gaze at as we hold the pose for three or four more breaths. Now we're gazing at one point, 
but we're also including the peripheral. So we're not staring. We're not narrowing our focus. We're actually expanding it. Good, inhale deeply here. And then exhale, let the arms release. Let your left leg release as well. Okay, now for the other side. Gaze down to your left foot. We'll be shifting weights to your left foot. Decide if you want the kickstand position or the uh, right foot placed against the inner left thigh. Just lift the arms a bit and start to wiggle your fingers. Now you're gazing ahead with soft shoulders, but aware of the periphery as the arms rise. They continue to rise. I can still see my fingers wiggling. And then at this point, I'll bring the hands to join above the head. Now, find one unmoving spot to gaze at. But be aware of the whole peripheral field at the same time. And inhale deeply, exhale, slowly release the arm, slowly release the right leg. And then let's shake. Shaking shows up in Qigong as a preparatory exercise as it opens up the meridian pathways in the body, connecting heaven and earth. It also shows up in the ancient science of Ayurveda, which is the medical tradition from India. Um, when you start to get sick in India, uh, or go to an Ayurvedic doctor, they'll often tell you to shake as it stimulates the immune system. And it it uh, stimulates lymphatic flow. Shaking is also very good for stress. It releases stress out of the joints to be replaced with vitality. And scientists have always have also realized shaking is good for trauma. So um, they're using shaking now for PTSD. So all you do is let go and release stress out of your joints and shake. Very good for inner organs as well. They're shaking. Let's release. We're a lot on our computers these days, so for helping with that kind of strain, let's relax the shoulders and the elbows and the wrists and the fingers and shake those areas. And the belly too. And the sacrum as well. And in back of the heart. And the base of the neck and the upper chest, the heart area. Let's shake. The hips, the inner and outer groins, the calf muscles, even the ankles, we shake. Close your eyes, if you wish, and we'll shake for another 20 seconds or so, 20 to 30 seconds, but scan your body. And if there's any area in your body where the energy is stuck, or stagnated, shake it. And then, let's inhale both hands high. You have to open your eyes at this point. And then exhale, this is grounding. You exhale and lower the hands. We ground the energy. Let's repeat. Inhale, both hands high. This is called gather, uh, gathering the heavens. And then exhale, ground the energy. So we gather the heaven energy. And with an exhale, draw it down to earth. We'll do two more rounds. Inhale deeply, arms rise. Stay grounded through your feet though. Exhale, draw down the heavens. Let the spine lengthen. 
And our final round, inhale deeply. Exhale, heaven's energy descends to earth. We soften the knees just a little bit. And then allow one hand to come flat, right below your navel point, the other hand on top. And now we come to our center here. Now gaze around. Soft focus. Beaming, blinking, brushing. Breathing, of course. Now inhale deeply, let's exhale, release our hands and come down to sit. On the ground, <clears throat> with hips to earth. Simply lift the hands and exhale, roll back. Now that we're lying down, let's finish with a very simple, easy to do exercise named palming. You can remain with feet to ground as I'm modeling here or stretch out the legs one by one, whatever feels best for your lower back. If you have glasses on, please remove them. Ideally palming is best without contact lenses. However, if you do have lenses in, no worries. There's still great benefit to palming. Lifting your hands, let's rub them briskly together, creating warmth. And then bring the hands, bring the palms to the eyes, cupping the eye sockets with eyes closed. The palms are not pressing on the eyeballs and fingers can be crossed on your forehead if that's more comfortable. And then breathing deeply and slowly, allow your eyes to absorb the warmth from your hands. And the warmth from your hands will relax the muscles around the eyes and help increase circulation and bring healing energy to this area. At first you'll see streaks of light in your field of vision. But as the eyes relax, the field of vision will become darker and darker until full darkness is achieved. Palming can be done anytime, anywhere. If you're at your office, you can take a break from your work or from your computer. And after warming your hands, rest your elbows on your desk and then palm. You could be standing or lying down as we are. So the body position isn't so, so important. The duration of palming can be anywhere from a minute to 30 minutes, really, or even longer. For us now, with your eyes closed, slowly, slowly release your hands to the ground next to you, palms facing up, and then very gently open your eyes and gaze about See if things don't look a bit more clear, a bit more vivid. The best vision is achieved when our eyes are relaxed and we allow vision to come to us instead of straining to see. Feel free to continue relaxing or even do another round of palming. I recommend you bring it 
into your daily life multiple times, I think you'll see great benefit.